Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today in Need for Speed Unbound, we are going to be taking a look at the BMW M3 Evolution 2E30 in A class. So for the engine we are going to swap in, it is the 2.8 liter flat 6, and I think that is the only one in there. Yep. So the 2.8 liter flat 6. For the parts, we have Pro Induction. Sport ECU, Sport Fuel System, Sport Exhaust. It's naturally aspirated with the Sport Nitrous. The Elite Neutral Suspension with Basic Brakes. I'm sorry, Pro Brakes. Pro Brakes. Elite Grip Tires, Elite Clutch. The Sport 5-Speed Gearbox, which you can change uh, up to a 6 or 7, as it does not affect the level of the car. That's up to you and your own preference. And then the Elite Differential. I don't have enough to do that, so that's fine. For the handling, it is 80% grip. Steering sensitivity is all the way up. Downforce is in the middle. Traction control is off. And drift entry is brake tap. That'll give us a top speed of 178 miles per hour, a 0 to 60 of 4.6, and a quarter mile of 12.8. So now we're going to go hop into a race and see if I just wasted all my money or not. Okay, so here we are in the first race. Um, this is a car I used in the early stages of the game in A-Class. Uh, and then I since abandoned it as I found better vehicles and people became more acquainted with the game. I actually used to win a ton of races with this car in a different build. But this build is better than that one. And like I said, since then people have definitely improved their skills and knowledge of this game and how to race it. And that skyline made it so I couldn't pass because they got right inside of me. But, you know, that's part of the game. And that was my bad. I just handled that corner very poorly. Let's see if I can handle this one a little bit better. Wow, that skyline just went out wide. But they're still right here with me. I mean, so far it doesn't feel too bad. It also doesn't feel great just because look how far ahead first and second are right now and I don't appear to be catching them. Um, oops, and that's not going to help at all. <laughs> that's just going to hinder. But I have pulled from the skyline and it looks like first and second are pulling on me right now. So maybe I'll be able to catch up, maybe not. And if I don't miss the checkpoint. Alright, I ended up saving what I thought was going to be a very poor thing happening. But I ended up doing alright coming through there. Uh, they are just pulling on me. So they are definitely in better cars than what this is. But let's see if maybe this can't help out a little bit. And if the AI wouldn't be throwing cars at me, that would also be helpful. So obviously I'm not going to win, but I did start to catch up there at the end. Like, whatever that is in front of me, it looks like a Golf or a Civic. Uh, I started to catch it after we, you know, caught some air and I got some boost. Oh, it was a focus, okay. Okay, so here we are in Windy City Sprint, which is a little bit more acceleration and top speed focused than what I feel that last one is. Uh, but if this goes anything like the last race did, I still expect the uh, Evo 9 and the, whatchamacallit, Focus to do better. But I'm trying to make some A-class cars because I really don't have many A-class cars and I avoid racing in A-class because of that. And I just haven't found a car in A that I love and really like using, so that's the biggest part of the problem. Oh, oh man. Well, I am 100% screwed now. I mean, I might pass the car that just wrecked. Well, that sucks. I didn't see it. Obviously, the Evo 9 did, and that's why they took the route they did going through that tunnel. But I didn't see it, so I hit it. And once you wreck in this race, you're pretty much out of it. But there's not a lot you can do about it. Let's see how it takes this corner. 
I overdrifted that on accident and then went into a wall. Hey, is that a competitor? It is. Hey, I'll give you something to draft, okay, buddy? You can draft me and then catch up. Because neither of us has any chance of doing first or second place. And I almost didn't see those two cars I got really close to. As far as the handling on this car goes, it handles really well. I mean, that was just a full grip turn right there. It just needs to accelerate faster than it does. I need to, I need to tweak it and get acceleration up and put some better engine parts in, I think. Okay, so here we are on the final race of the series. I am not expecting anything different to happen. Uh, unless I somehow run a perfect race and everybody else just wrecks left and right. Uh, but I'm not holding my breath for that to happen. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the launch and see if I can make this thing do any better. Probably not. If I'd have started further out front, maybe I could have. Ooh, I almost didn't get that. Almost didn't get it. I'm doing what I can to hang with this Evo 9, but the Evo 9 is just a beast in this game. And I took that corner way too wide on accident, and it looks like I think that's the focus behind me that's going to catch up. It's going to catch up. I hope it brings some mustard. That was a very bad joke, and I apologize. Yeah, it's catching me. It's, it's going to pass me well before the third lap of this race for sure. Oh, wow. I caught the curb and it just lost grip and just went out on me. Well, like I said, the RS is going to pass me well before the end of this race. And now I can't even turn. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, it just wouldn't turn there. And, of course, I didn't hit the wall hard enough to wreck out, so... That's the first time that has ever happened to me in this race, getting stuck in that spot. But not a lot I can do about it, unfortunately. Wow, that skyline, like, slid that corner really good. I'm impressed. Let's get a little more boosty boost there. And see if I can at least get my third place back. And I don't think that's going to happen. I think the Skyline's going to hold on to third. And then I will be lucky to finish in fourth. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to push into you. You just kind of were right there in front of me, not going anywhere. So it sort of happened. I'm not super far from second place, but I'm not close enough to be able to, you know, do anything about it. Okay, I lied. I got third place back. So this is a good third place car. <laughs> so I I can't really recommend this build. There I've got there's gotta be a better build out there for it. I just gotta do a better job of finding it. Uh, maybe I'll revisit this car in the future or maybe not. But yeah, that's gonna do it. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, leave some comments down below, smash that like button, and I will catch you in the next one.